In this quiet Springside community, a raging river, a man-made flood, is causing quite the divide. We're used to dealing with Mother Nature here, but as far as we're concerned, this is more than that. This is a man-made disaster. Homeowners. This is my happy place. Today's not as happy. And then yesterday got up to the edge of the porch. Like Don Sorensen. My wife and I did the floor. It's, it's oak. Who have put their blood, sweat, and tears into the community. Originally, we gutted the whole thing. I gutted everything. In fact, I deliberately gutted the whole house when my wife was at women's camp. Because <laughs> I didn't want her to, like, say, no, don't throw that away. Say this level of flooding isn't just unusual. It got a little scary this morning when it started getting, now it's hitting, you know, the house. It's flat out unnecessary. It only floods like this because the water backs up from the Olmstead Diversion Dam. Relying on sandbags from Utah County. They don't work. <laughs> They've got a real problem. I'll cry. <laughs> Sorensen and others hope the Provo River Watershed Council does something to subdue the raging river. I don't know why, but they keep that dam high. So if it was lower, we wouldn't have a flood. Before it's too late. But I don't want to do this one again. Not this one. This is my baby. Lisa Nico, 2 News.